welcome to an Introduction to C Programming, a video tutorial sequence from the Department of Computer Science and Software Engineering at Rose-Hulman Institute of Technology. I'm Kurt Clifton. And I'm Matt Bautel. And we'll be your hosts. In this first video, we're going to look at configuring your C workspace in Eclipse in order to do the programming projects. We're assuming that you have an Eclipse development environment set up with the C++ programming tools installed and that you're using the MinGW compiler. If you're enrolled in the course at Rolls-Holman and have one of our freshman laptops, these tools should already be installed. If not, you can follow the link on this slide to find the installation instructions. So if you need to install the tools, feel free to pause the video now, follow this link and get that done, and then resume the video. Okay, you should have your tools installed now, so what we're going to do next is demonstrate how you can configure your Eclipse workspace for C programming and write and compile our first C program. Please follow along. Okay, so here I am in Eclipse um, in a, a non-C workspace. This one right here is for PyDev. And what I need to do is create a new Eclipse workspace for my C programs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and directly in, the, um, in C, I'm going to create a new folder name that doesn't have any spaces in it. Eclipse likes it like that. So I'm going to call mine C Projects. Um, and then back in Eclipse, I need to navigate there. I do that by going to File, Switch Workspace, and you'll probably need to click Other. And from that, you can browse to the proper location. So you can do that. Click OK. And it'll actually restart Eclipse. OK. And we can start right in, in the workbench. So what we're going to notice is that we're, we, need to re, um, we need to change our perspective here to the C perspective. So I'm going to open Perspective, Other. C, C++ should be right at the top. So click OK. And we'll notice that that um, shows up over here in my taskbar. I'm going to go ahead and, and close up some of these things so I get a little bit more space for coding. And what I'll do is create a new project here from scratch. So I can right click over my Project Explorer and select New, C Project. And the one that I want is a Hello World ANSI C Project right here. And the project name that I'll use is just Hello for Hello World. And I'll click Finish. We can see that it creates the project over here. So I'm going to open that up and navigate into the source folder. And I will see that I have a hello.c um, file that it's created for me. And I can put my name in there. And I'm going to go ahead and run the program. The way that I do that is to select the project. So I'm going to click on hello here, run as. And I want local C, C++, X executable. I'll save it since I hadn't. And we'll see that down here on the console that it, that it actually runs the program. Now you'll notice that I ran the program by right clicking the project. Um, if I try to actually right click on the hello.c, it doesn't even give me an option to run it. Um, that's different than, than other languages in Eclipse like Python or Java. And the reason for that is that in C, only one um, file can have the, the main function. And by default, all C files in the project are going to be compiled and linked into a single executable. So there's going to be a conflict if, if multiple ones contain main. Right. One final thing that you're going to want to do um, to get help with your code and to make it easier for you is to show line numbers. So you go over here into your left margin on your code, right click, and choose show line numbers. One word for students who are enrolled in CSSE 120 or CSSE 221 at Rose-Hulman. Please don't move any of the folders in your SVN repository. You might be concerned that you have lots of folders at the top level of your repository with your Python and your C projects mixed together. I'm afraid you're just going to have to live with that for the course. We use scripts to automatically extract your homework assignments for grading, and those scripts won't work if you move any of the folders. You won't want to receive zero grades after you've done lots of work, so please don't move any of the folders in your repository. So that was our first video on configuring your C workspace. Until next time, I'm Kurt. And I'm Matt. Catch you later.